I like to share an activity with you here that will work very good as a starting point for science. It's an object that really will raise the interest in science and also keep the interest alive. So what I do is I put this strange bucket in front of me. Maybe I scratch my head and look very confused and some of the pupils they will ask me so why do you look so confused? And I tell them that I found such a strange bucket. And then they ask me, what's so strange about the bucket? And I tell them that they can come up closer and, 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 and look at the bucket and, and I show them that when I, the strange thing with the bucket is that when I pour a colorless liquid into the funnel like this, after some time, there will come a colorless liquid out of the hose. That's not so very strange, but the strange thing is that when I take a color liquid, like this green, and pour into the funnel, there's a, still a colorless liquid coming out of the hose. Now it's starting to get really strange. And if I pour a red liquid into the funnel, Still, there's a colorless liquid coming out of the hose. So, what I've done now is something that's really, really typical of science. That I put the pupils in front of a... Uh, they got a problem to think about. Just like the scientists uh, think about uh, different problems. And what you do in science is that you try to figure out how this works. So you, you, you come up with a hypothesis. So I tell the pupils to, to, to draw. I give them a white paper, read, uh, red and green crayons, and I tell them to draw what they think is inside the bucket. And what happens then is something that's really typical of science, is that I don't just get one idea. I get a lot, a lot of different ideas, very, very smart ideas. And what's very good when, when you use this, uh, this uh, with pupils is that uh, the undiscovered talents in the class will blossom. Those that uh, have really hard time writing and, and, uh, and doing their best in the classroom, they can blossom with an activity like this. And this is not about trying to figure out who has got the right answer and who is right and who is wrong. It's about taking those ideas seriously and trying to let them lead to very, very easy uh, investigations. And if you look at the, the other film clips on, the, on this homepage, you can see some of the ideas that I've got from from pupils. And I, I really, really think you should try this um, activity. And uh, uh, some teachers like to call it the magic bucket. Good luck.